Good morning, saints. They're like saints, kings and queens. This is the day, the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Sweep the Streets Global Mission, Inspiration Prayer Time. Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee, my flesh longer for thee, in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see the power and the and the glory so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, my God. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. That is Psalm 63, 1 through 4. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head and in the love of our life. And this week, God, my God, God is taking us somewhere. He's dealing with us. And it's going to take some time. He is the potter and we are the clay. And God laid upon my heart this week, understanding spiritual wickedness in high places. You have no idea, my God, the in-depth heaviness that this carries. God says, I chose you before the foundation of time in the name of Jesus. To stand in the gap. And that's the reason why so many people seek certain people out. My Lord. But are you seeking out the right one? My Lord. Spiritual wickedness in high places is standing in the gap. So in other words, God says, I'm sending them to you. My God, a rebellious, uh, wicked generation in the name of Jesus. Huh? And, and, and you know, you have so many people... And, you know, the Bible says, you judge not that ye may not be judged. You don't know what the cause of the fallen state of the men and women of God who God has chosen to lead God's people. You don't understand their fall in the name of Jesus. So who are you, my God? He who without sin let him cast the first stone. My Lord, watch how you speak against God's people. Ye touch not his anointed and you do his prophets no more. My Lord, let's go to the word this morning because God gave me a word. We got a people, we got a lot of people that are seeking. But are you seeking for the right motive? Are you, what, are, what are you seeking after? My God, my Lord, and, and, and we and it fails, it fails to be applied. We holler, Lord, Lord, and that you have the love of God down off it, but you're not heeding his command. You're not heeding his warning. He told Balaam and Balak back in the, my God, him got in Exodus. This is Exodus. Balaam and Balak. Let me get there. Balaam and Balak. Oh, my God. And that was not even where I was going. He told them, do not curse this generation of people. And you got some people that is cursing. God's people in the name of Jesus. Help me, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God on the day. I'm getting sidetracked because this is not where I was going. On this day, the day that the Lord has made, I'll give it. Let me just give the word first and foremost. For the Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost. My Lord. I'm hitting into a place that. Mm. There we go in Numbers, my God, in the book of Numbers, the story of Balaam and Balak, where the children of Israel are crossing over. We're going over into our promised land, and we're crossing over. And if anybody has done a study of um, the beginning, we got some theologians that be chiming in, and I say welcome. I cannot, we cannot um, cause another believer to stumble for what it is that we believe in. They believe in, or you believe in, we believe in, or I believe in. We just have to undergird them and help them keep their eyes fixed on the cross. Um, the Old Testament times, Heavenly God, 
Mm. I wasn't supposed to go there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to the word. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6, 12. A lot to go over this morning. On this day, the day that the Lord has made. Okay. Ephesians 6, 12. Mm. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not going there. That's not what God was pointing me to. I'm going to get all sidetracked. Because I'm only allowed to give um, a, just a glimpse of spiritual wickedness in high places. Because God says, um, the Spirit was telling me this morning, um, this is a private study to equip you to lead and stand over the body of Christ. So you're not going to get a lot. My God, in the name of Jesus. Some places that I have got to go and some things that I have got to study in my private time. Mm, you got people that, um, I used to love to go to the beach. That's my thing. When my mother passed, I spread her ashes out over the beach because she never went to the beach. She would never go anywhere. And every time, every now and then, I have a drawing to go to the beach. And it dropped on my spirit. Becky said, I love the beach. But God says, no, 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 no. That's a place that you cannot go no more. And them beach trips is out. My God, you got to go to into an in-depth, more level. Whenever I send you out, you're not going to lounge around on no beach. My Lord, this thing is more deeper than that. On this day, the day that the Lord has made. Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 310, listen to what the Spirit of the living Lord is saying. My sheep, he says, my sheep know my voice. Okay, let's go back. For we rise not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 3.10, to the intent that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, the manifold wisdom of God. God says um, the principalities, which is the government, and powers, which is the industry, celebrities and TV producers. It was the intent for them to know the wisdom of God so that they, that they can lead this world. My God, the intent of the wisdom of God. When you're dealing with the wisdom of God, you have got to have the moral principles in you, embedded in you, to know the difference between right or wrong. My God, but we was a born a rebellious, gen, a rebellious and wicked generation. And the hearts of the people has not been cleansed and consecrated. This messed me up. I, before I got ready to come on, I was up preparing myself. And I prepared myself. I had, I ate, and I fixed my makeup. Then the Lord, Spirit of the Little Lord, rebuked me in the name of Jesus. Because the reason being why I did that in that way and in that direction, my God, because you have, my God, people that is in the spirit that is getting up eating, my God, and doing all kinds of things, but not really in the presence of God. And God began to drop on my heart. He says, you're breaking, you're, you're messing up your consecration. So therefore, God just dropped this on my spirit. Huh? My God, he says, the intent wisdom was intended for principalities, which is the government who's supposed to lead the, the nation. It's supposed to be over God's people. And you know, powers is the industry, and they have such a great influence over God's people. They are supposed to, in the name of Jesus, supposed to have the wisdom of God in them to lead God's people. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God. Help me, Holy Spirit. We got some people that's chiming in on this day, the day that the Lord has made. Let me see if I can fix this on the day. God, thank you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord. Thank, thank you, Abba. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. My Lord. Got some stuff going on. Spirit of distraction all in here. Let's, let's break that right now. You're not welcome here. God, help me deliver this word. Okay, Ephesians 3. It says, 
to the power, to the intent that now unto the principles and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, the manifold wisdom of God. Okay. Now to Ephesians 2, 18. This is what the Spirit of the living Lord is saying. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Listen, 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 listen. I'm, I'm just going to read Ephesians 3. To, to the intent that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Listen to God speak. The manifold wisdom of God. For through him, through God, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Listen to what God is saying. Hebrews in the name of Jesus. I know it. Hear me, God. I've been marking this stuff for a reason. I know it. I've been marking Hebrews. I didn't mark Hebrews. Okay. So I can just flip right to it. Four, Hebrews 4 and 16. This 18, it says, okay, Ephesians 3, the end, it says, the manifold, uh, my God, help me, guys. Help me stay up for us in the name of Jesus. By the church, the manifold wisdom of God, for through him, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Hebrews, Father. For we have not a an high priest, no. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Let us therefore come boldly. He says you got access to the Spirit, because whenever they took God Jesus to the of uh, God, God, and they hung him high, and they stretched him wide, and he gave up the ghost. He rent the veil so that you listen, listen, listen. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of trouble. So in other words, he says, come boldly to the throne of grace, confessing your sins. My God, seeking him for right standing and to be consecrated. Listen, my God, listen, listen, listen to what God is saying. I love the Lord. Mm, I learned this day. God got to speak to me through the word, and I've been wanting to hear from him ever since. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, the depths of the riches, the riches both of wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out. So therefore, my God, God says, see, you got some people that are seeking God and they're trying to use the gift of God, the spirit of God to chime in, to speak to my God's spiritual ancestors and, and to speak to the dead, to summon riches. Listen, but listen, let me say, they said, let us, bro, Hebrews 4 and 16 says, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace. He's guiding you that we may obtain mercy. Once you have mercy, you've been forgiven for your sins. My God, and find grace to help in times of trouble. Now, my God, you sought God out. So in times of trouble, somebody's having some financial issues. And they are in financial, in a financial bind. My God, but God says, come unto me. Hi, hi, don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Now, so he says, oh, of the depths of the riches. The depths of the wit riches come from the wisdom of God. Hi, hi, so you have got to be inside God. Hi, and my God, and went to the throne of grace for mercy to ask for forgiveness of your sin. Because you it is a, you've been following, you've been with a den of thieves. Hi, my God, you've been doing everything that you thought that you was really nearly big and bad enough to do to obtain riches. He says, but come unto me. Hi, and once I consecrate you and I cleared you and I found you in right standing, I will give you the wisdom and the knowledge to get God's wisdom. Riches, God's riches. My Lord says, This is of the depths of the riches, both of wisdom. I said, Wait a minute. It comes from the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments, his ways past finding out. 
Now this. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. My Lord, heavenly God, in the name of Jesus. I love you, Christ. On this day, the day that the Lord has made. First Corinthians. One and seven. One and seven. So that we, so that ye come behind in 1 Corinthians 2 and 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery unto the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. My God. The hidden wisdom. Hidden wisdom means in God, in the name of Jesus. The mysteries. People are wondering why life is knocking the snot out of you. Why you're being tossed through and fro. My God, we fail to listen to the word of God. He says, kind of all joy with multiple trials and tribulations. You're going through. The point of you going through multiple trials and tribulations and all of this uh, chaos that is in your life is so that you, it will be crunch time that you will run into the presence of God. But you have some people that is running to the kings of this land inside that building. My Lord, my Lord, you're seeking for something and guess what? They're trying to seek on how they're going to get the glory out of your life because they see what this, they see the real glory that is on you. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, I glorify God. So I was praying about it. And I said, well, you know, a lot of people's getting the snot knocked out of them because some people, somebody has stolen from your future. And it's not so that you can go and be enslaved to them. It's go, it's this that you can go and be broken from enslavement from them. Because it's something that has along your life that has drawn you into the presence of the, the kings of this land that is inside those buildings. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, I glorify God. <laughs> Come on and wake up, saints. Huh? You gotta, it, they're not there so that you can be handicapped. They're there to point you in the way to the, uh, to the cross so that you will find your way into God's presence. My Lord, in the name of Jesus. Huh? My God, help me God. My Lord. When you don't know who you are, they will have you handicapped and they will try to, you know what I'm saying, keep you under their covering so that they can gain profit off of you. Listen, First Peter, this is what the Spirit of the Living Lord said. First Peter. First Peter 1 and 12. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us that did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things, things the angels desire to look into. God says, the Bible says in the book of John, I speak that which not what I know, but I speak that which what God speaks to me in secret. God says, I chose you. Listen, he says, I chose you, my God, that they will report to you, my God, in the name of Jesus. Because something is not right in their, in their spirit, in their life. So they can't go straight boldly to the throne of grace, my God. But God says, it's as though I'm having them to report to you, my God, my Lord. Because spiritual wickedness in high places, they try and test. You know, you got people in church and you just go there and sometimes it seems like they say, that's my seat. And uh, it seems like every time you turn around, they say that every level that you go on, that there's a devil to match your anointing. And that spiritual weakness inside that church that you are, they get they get on my nerves. They make me sick. My Lord, in the name, now, now, that that is testing the spirit by the spirit. It is, a, it is something in you that is warned against the spirit that is in them. So God says, I set them in, in heavenly places. Yes, they're simple. Yes, they have fallen short of the glory of God. But this says that all of us have fallen. And none of us do good. My God, he says, but I have them at this level of spiritual uh, um, level, my God, my God, for a reason so that you can report to them. My God, my God, my Lord, in the name of Jesus, so that you can hear a word from the Lord. Listen, 
It's not my word. It says, unto whom it was revealed. That not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them. It's reported to you by them. My Lord, help me, Holy Spirit. My God, in the name of Jesus, I love the Lord. They have preached the gospel unto you by the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the, the angels desire to look into. My Lord, now let's go to Peter's 2 and 2. As newborn babes, my God, God says, you're a baby. My God, we got, God has, we have no idea. We have not grown to, that's why you got people that act like children in the body of Christ. You have not grown to the level in which what it is that God wants you to be. God says, as newborn babies desire the sincere milk, the word that ye may grow thereby, my Lord, <laughs> that you grow. My God, don't, don't try to just step out there. You don't learn five scriptures. Now you think you're ready to go across the world and mount major platforms. You're still a baby. In the name, you're not ready yet. That's just why I got you on the backwoods, in the plains, my God, in the valley. My God, seeking me out so that you will learn all things. My God, that by no means nothing shall hurt you. I'm teaching your hands how to war, and I'm making your feet like hinds feet. Hinds shut the door that you can come against witches and warlocks. Whenever they try to cast roots and food do open. How white man is chuck black match anything. How they have no power over you. And nothing that they call and whoever they call to come up against you. And by no means shall it hurt you. How this messed me up. How I'm in a place where people swear that they know roots and they know voodoo. Everybody around me is getting sick. I called on the blood of Jesus. I said the devil is a lie. I shut it on. I am a child of God. I shall. I'm a Walk out the way that I came in my right state of mind. I shut it on. I'm a child of God. If you back me up into a corner, I'm coming out of it. In the name of Jesus, listen to what the Spirit of the Living Lord said. Uh, 612, 1 Peter 612. My Lord, in the name of Jesus. By Sabanius, a faithful Silas, by Silas, it's, it's Silas, faithful brother unto you. As I suppose I have written briefly, exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God wherein ye stand. My God, it's a brother. My God, mm, that you're supposed to exhort up. Ooh, I got it. Thank you, Jesus. My God, God situated you in the place to where you are. That is your sister and brother in Christ. That it's supposed to lift you up. Huh? Mm, this messed me up. Huh? I was getting discouraged and I was getting irritated. And God had to bring back to my remembrance. So sometimes you got to let stuff be brought back to your remembrance. He says, I sent you in this place so to sit with me. Huh? Until I make your enemies your footstool. Huh? And then I already have people in position that is going to lift you up. Huh? I shut it all, my Lord. It is not just gold. You cannot just keep seeking out mediums and people that you think... That all that's automatically gonna take the riches and the glory of God from his people. But I call my enemies my piggy bank. Because he said the wealth of the righteousness is stored up in the wicked. So you can only hold this thing for a matter of time. You gotta lose everything that belongs to the children and the men and women of God, kings and true kings and queens. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me, Holy Spirit. Listen, this acts. My God. Acts. I love acts. My God, hear me, God. I need you in this place, Jesus. Along this journey. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. As a rushing mighty wind, it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it sat upon them of the wit of them, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues and the spirit gave them utterance wait a minute let's tie this together mm. my lord my lord come boldly unto the throne of grace my heavenly holy spirit i need you in this place it's from me. My 
Romance, romance, romance. Hmm. Help me, God. Only thing thank you, thank you, the Lord has made. Mm-hmm. Hebrew. Help me, God. Only thing thank you, thank you, the Lord has made. There we go. Four. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the in the time of need. Romans eleven. And I, and I got it now. And I still can be somebody walking right on over. Romans. 33. Oh, the depth of the riches by the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgment and the ways past finding out. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, a rushing mighty wind. It filled all the house where they were sitting, and they appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance, as the Spirit gave them utterance. So God says, when you come boldly unto the throne of grace, and you cast all this, all that you're dealing with in the world, and I begin to reveal my wisdom to you pertaining to my riches here on earth my god the holy ghost is gonna it's nothing but by the soul of goddess of the holy ghost my god that you will be able to obtain this and that you will be able to understand this but the the wisdom of god is the mystery of god so don't take that the reason why the world is not going to snot out of you so that you will not uh, be so dependent on the world my god that you will find a secret place in god my god my lord so so that you will look on towards the hill which cometh your hell spiritual wickedness and high places is there for a reason you have no idea the in-depth um low and the weight that spiritual wickedness and high places carry my lord in the name of you there's a purpose that god took you so high and that you was in a place in him at one point in time i glorify god and then all of a sudden i glorify god i got some eavesdroppers on this day the day that the lord has made but god took you there for a particular place time in him so that whenever you fall my lord my lord my lord he says once you in my hand no devil in hell can snatch you out of it i glorify god and there's a purpose for where you are my god so that they can report unto you so that's the reason why a lot of people is calling on certain people but are you calling on the right one do they have the right motive for you on this day, the day that the Lord has made. We're going to continue to look towards the hill which cometh thy help. A spirit of sudden fear has come upon me in the name of Jesus. I glorify your name. Mm, Prince of Powers is in the realms, my Lord. And there's another spiritual wickedness in high places. There's a purpose why God sunk them on ahead of you, my Lord. But even in the place where they are, they cannot, they cannot stay there. That's what I was. God just brought this back to my mind. Uh, in the beginning. Whenever the children of Israel was crossing over to their promised land, the um, Abraham's concubines, children became the ice, my God, my Lord. In the name Ishmael's line of children became the ice, my God. Um, the Sodomite, um, the Amorites, um, mm, and some more ice that came out. And they had, they was occupying the, the children of Israel's land. And they had to go a war against their own kindred, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities, my Lord. That's what God would get to drop on my heart. It is the government, my God, and powers that has that has a wicked heart that is trying to steal riches and glory from you. And that is what we're wrestling against. You do not don't fight. I don't got time to be fighting. I don't got too old for that. And I did. was not a fighter when I was young, and I'm not finna fight now that I'm old. So if you want you want to fight, you got to go fight somebody else. I'm called the law because I know you're scared to go to jail. I know I know, I know fear when I see fear, but you big and bad because.
false you faking pride, you running with the crowd. God says, I'm sending you as a sheep among wolves to be as gentle as a dove and to be as wise as a serpent. That wisdom, don't be no fool. Look, I've got better things to do with our time than to prove that I'm bad. I'm going to show you how bad I am when I'm on, when I'm on property and deeds <laughs> and I'm running the you know, kingdom. When I'm running kingdom business, that's the reason why I've walked up to the level in which I am. God called me to the level to run kingdom business. And you got some fools that think that they have the knowledge and you can't even spell. You got to Google everything. And I'm not trying to down anybody, but know who you are. Know your place. Get in your lane and stay in your lane. As we're walking up and down this two lane highway, we hate you. On this day, the day that the Lord has made, God is dealing with us, and He's dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. My God, just know we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Don't know if I got time to fight it. <laughs> On this lovely, sanctified, this thing is still Saturday morning. Saints, y'all be blessed.